Hello guys, welcome back to Bike Geek. In today's video, we're going to talk about optimizing your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC for better speed and multitasking. One effective way to boost performance is by clearing the RAM cache. Now, the RAM cache, also known as cache memory, temporarily stores frequently accessed data to speed up processes and improve efficiency. However, over time, this cache can build up and cause your system to slow down or run into memory issues. If you open Task Manager by right-clicking on the taskbar and selecting Task Manager, then head over to the Performance tab and click on Memory, you'll notice the cached memory usage at the bottom. For example, here it's showing around 2GB of cached memory. That's quite a bit. This means a portion of your RAM is not fully available for use. To clear this RAM cache, you have two options. You can do it manually or set it up to clear automatically. In this video, I'll walk you through both methods step by step so you can choose what works best for you. So, without any further delay, let's jump right in. If you prefer to clear the RAM cache manually whenever you want, I've got a great tool for you called RAM Map. Open your browser and search RAM Map. Go to this Microsoft website link, this tool developed by Microsoft. I'll leave the official download link in the video description. Now, download RAM Map tool from here. It's a small file and will download quickly as a zip archive. Once downloaded, open the folder, right click on the zip file and select Extract All. Click Extract and once the files are extracted, you'll see several items inside. Look for the file named RAM Map 64, right click on it and choose Run as Administrator, then click Yes when prompted. This will launch the RAM Map tool. Now here's the simple part. Once the tool is open, just click on the empty menu at the top and then select empty standby list. This will immediately clear your cached memory. To see the effect, you can open Task Manager and in memory, you'll notice a significant drop in the cached memory, for example, from around two gigabytes down to just 263 megabytes. That's how quickly this tool works. Keep in mind though, that cached memory will gradually increase again over time possibly within an hour or so. You may want to repeat this process once a day or a few times a week, depending on your usage. If you're happy with this manual method, you can stick with it. But if you'd prefer to have this done automatically, then in the next part, I'll show you how to schedule it using a simple task automation setup. Let's move on to the automatic method. Open your browser and search empty standby list. Go to this archive website. I will provide this website link in my video descriptions so you can directly access it from there. Once you're on the page, scroll down and download the executable file. The file is very small and will download quickly. After it's downloaded, open Windows Search and type Task Scheduler. From the results, click on Task Scheduler to open it. On the right hand side, click Create Task. Now, give your task a recognizable name like RAM Cache Clear so it's easy to identify later if you need to edit or delete it. Next, under Security Options, click Change User or Group, then click Advanced and select Find Now. From the list, find and select System, then click OK and OK again. Make sure to check Run with Highest Privileges. Below that, in the Configure for drop-down, choose Windows 10 if you're using Windows 10 or 11. If you're on an older version, select Windows 7 or Windows Server. Now go to the Triggers tab and click New. Here, decide how often you want the task to run. Under Advanced Settings, check Repeat Task Every and choose a time like 5 minutes, 15 minutes or 1 hour, whichever suits your needs. Then, set for a duration of to indefinitely to make sure it keeps running and ensure enabled is checked. Click OK. Next, go to the Actions tab and click New. Click Browse. Locate the empty standby list, executable file you downloaded earlier, select it, then OK. Click OK again to finish creating the task. You'll now see your task listed under Task Scheduler Library. It should show a status of ready and the trigger interval you set. In the future, if you ever want to stop the task, just come back to Task Scheduler. Right click on it and choose Disable or Delete, depending on what you need. And that's it. 
You've now successfully set up an automated RAM cache clear task. This will help free up memory regularly and can resolve various Windows performance issues. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on future updates. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for your support and I'll see you in the next one.